Hi, welcome to this Corporate Mars video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the practice questions on the money topic of profit. If you need any extra help on profit, if you go to corporatemars.com forward slash contents and scroll down to video number 400p, or I suppose four pound, uh, but if you go down to video number 400p, there's a dedicated video to show you there on profit. Alternatively, you could scan this QR code. But in this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice questions, so let's get started. So question number one. Question number one says, Ryan bought a watch for £189.99p, and he sold the watch for more money. He sold it for £245. And the question says, how much profit did he make? So the profit's how much he made. So if we take how much he bought it for and take it away from how much he sold it for, that'll tell us the profit. So if we take the £245 and take away £189.99p, the answer would be his profit. So £245 subtract £189.99p gives us an answer of £55 and one pence. So his profit is £55 and a penny. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number two. So question number two says, Martin bought six footballs for £9 each, and he sold the footballs for £78. How much profit did he make? So let's find out how much he bought the footballs for. He bought six footballs for £9 each. So six times nine is equal to £54. So he paid £54 for the footballs, and he sold them for £78. So if we take the £54 away from the £78, that'll tell us his profit. So £78 take away £54 is equal to £24. So he made £24 profit, and that's it. So question number three says, Chloe bought a box of pens for £18, and there's 100 pens in the box. And she sold each pen for 60 pence each. How much profit did Chloe make? So let's find out how much money she sold the pens for. So she sold 100 pens for 60 pence each. So if we take the 60p and multiply by 100, that'll tell us how much she gets in pence for the pens. So 60 multiplied by 100 would be 6,000. So she sold the pens for 6,000 pence. Now let's change that into pounds. So that's going to be 60 pound. So she sold the pens for 60 pound she bought them for 18 pounds so if we do 60 take away 18 that's equal to 42 pound so that means that she made 42 pound profit from selling the pens she bought them for 18 pound she sold them for 60 pound so she made 42 pound profit and that's it so question number four says elsie organized a charity raffle so she's organizing a charity raffle and she sold 200 tickets for 1 pound 50 each and the cost of organizing the raffle including the prizes was 83 pound elsie donated the profit to charity work at how much money Elsie donated to charity. So she sold the tickets for £1.50 each and she sold 200 of them. So that's 200 lots of £1.50. So we need to take our £1.50 and we need to multiply that by £200. So 200 £1 is £200. 250 p's would be 100 pound so altogether that would be 300 pound so she earns 300 pound for selling the tickets so just to go through that again we took our one pound and we multiplied it by 200 that's 200 pound we took our 50 p and we multiplied that by 200 that's 100 pound the 200 pound plus the 100 pound would be 300 pound or another way we could approach that was to take the one pound 50 we want to multiply by 200 so we could take the one pound 50 we could multiply by two and then by 100 so if we multiply by two that's equal to three pound and then if we multiply by 100 3 times 100, that's equal to £300, as we've just seen. So Elsie sold the tickets for £300. The cost of organising the raffle, including the prices, was £83. So if we take the £83 away from the £300, that's going to be the profit. So 0 take away 3, we're going to need to borrow. That's a 0, so let's borrow from the 3. That's now a 2 and a 10. Borrow again, that's a 9 and 10. 10 take away 3 is 7. 9 take away 8 is 1. And 2 take away 0 is 2. So that means that Elsie donated. She donated all the profit to charity, so she donated £217 to charity. That's fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number five. So question number five says, Tomas bought 52 souvenir magnets for £2.75 each. So souvenir magnets, perhaps, I don't know, if the Eiffel Tower or London Bridge or Edinburgh Castle or Belfast Castle or Titanic Museum or Cardiff Castle or something like that there. So Tomas bought 52 souvenir magnets for £2.75 each. He sold 39 of them for £4.99. So he sold 39 of them for £4.99. And then he sold the rest of them for £3.80. And we've been asked to work out how much profit Tomas made. Now, this is a calculator question, which is quite nice. Now, he know, we know that he bought 52 of them for £2.75 each. So let's take our 52 and multiply it by £2.75 and see how much he spent on the magnets. So 52 multiplied by £2.75 is equal to £143. So that's how much he paid for the magnets. Now, let's find out how much he sold them for. So he sold 39 of them for £4.99. So let's take 39 and multiply it by £4.99 and see how much money he makes for selling 39 of them. 
convert them at 4.99. So 39 multiplied by 4.99 is equal to 194 pound and 61 pence. So for the 39 that he sold at the full price, he earns £194.61. Now in terms of the rest of them, he sells them for £3.80 each. So let's find out how many of the rest is. So he had 52, and he sold 39 of them at full price. So 52 take away 39 is equal to 13. So he sold 13 of them at a reduced price. So if we take our 13 and multiply that by £3.80, that's equal to 3 pound eighty multiplied by 13 is equal to... 49 pound and 40 pence so that means that we now know how much he gets for whenever he sells the ones at full price which is 194 pound and 61 pence and for the rest of them he earns another 49 pound and 40p if we add them together that's how much money he makes in total for selling the magnets so 194 pound and 61 pence plus 49 pound and 40p is equal to 244 pound and a penny now, we've been asked to work out how much profit he made, so if we take away how much he paid for the magnets from how much money he has at the end after selling them all, that's the profit. So £244 and a penny, subtract £143 is equal to... one hundred and one pound and one pence. So how much profit did Thomas make? He made one hundred and one pound and one pence, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number six. So question number six says, Darius buys bottles of lemonade to sell. So he's buying these bottles of lemonade and then he's going to sell them. He buys eight crates of lemonade, eight, eight crates of bottles of lemonade, and each crate contains 16 bottles. So if we do eight times 16, we'll see how many bottles he buys in total. And he pays £12 for each crate. Now he buys eight crates. So if we do eight multiplied by 12, that'll tell us how much money he paid for the lemonade because he pays £12 for each of the crates and he buys eight crates. So eight times 12 is equal to 96 so he pays 96 pound for the lemonade now he sells all of the bottles of lemonade for two pound each and the question says how much profit does he make so he sells the bottles for two pound each well now let's work out how many bottles he sells so each crate has 16 bottles and there's eight crates so let's take the 16 bottles and multiply that by eight and that'll tell us how many bottles there are well then we times that by two just to find out how much money darius makes for selling them and then we can take away how much he paid to find his profit so eight times six is 48 so put our eight down carry our four eight times one is eight plus four is twelve so he has 128 bottles of lemonade and he sells them for two pound each so 128 multiplied by two is how much money he makes for selling the bottles two times eight is 16 put our six down carry our one two times two is four plus one is five and two times one is two so that means that he sells the lemonade for 256 pound now he buys the lemonade for 96 pounds so if we take the 256 pound and take away 96 pound that's how much profit he makes six take away six is zero 5 take away 9, well, let's borrow, that's now 15 take away 9, 15 take away 9 is 6, and 1 take away 0 is 1. So that means how much profit did he make? £160, that's how much profit he made. And just to recap that, he buys 8 crates at £12 each, so he pays £96 for the lemonade. He sells the bottles of lemonade for £2 each, so we've done 16 times 8 to see how many bottles he had, which is 128. He sold them for £2 each, so we then times that by 2, we see how much money he makes for selling them, and then we take away the cost, and that tells us the profit of £160. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 7. So Yasmin organised a raffle to raise money for a sports club, and each raffle ticket costs £2. And there's three prizes, the first prize costs £130, the second price costs £65 and the third price costs £19. And the raffle made a profit of £388. Work out how many raffle tickets were sold. So we know the profit, so what we need to do is work out how much the raffle costs. So let's work out the price of the prizes altogether. So let's add together these values. So if we add the £130 for the first place prize, the £65 for the second place prize, and the £19 for the last one. If we add those together, 0 plus 5 plus 9 is 14. Put a 4 down, carry a 1. 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so put a 1 down and carry a 1, and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So that means that the prizes cost £214, so that's the cost of these prizes. Now, the raffle made a profit of £388, so if we add that on to the cost, that will tell us how much money Yasmin made from selling the tickets. So if we take the £214 and add £388, that'll be how much money was made from selling the tickets altogether.
4 plus 8 is equal to 12, so put a 2 down and carry a 1. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 1 is 10, so put a 0 down and carry a 1. And 2 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 6. So that means the £602 was made from selling the tickets. Now, the tickets cost £2 each. So we were asked how many raffle tickets were sold, so we need to divide this by 2. And that'll tell us how many tickets were sold. So 602 divided by 2, well, half of 602 would be 301. So 301 tickets were sold. And that's it. So the answer is 301. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number eight. So question number eight says, there's 20 donuts in a tray, and each tray costs £10. Charlotte buys eight trays of donuts. She sells 110 donuts for 90p each, and she sells the rest of the donuts at half price. And the question says, work out how much profit Charlotte made. And this is a calculator question, so that's quite nice. Now, she buys eight trays of donuts, and each tray costs £10. So eight times £10 is equal to £80. So that's how much money Charlotte spent on the donuts. Now, she sold 110 donuts at 90 pH and the rest for at half price. Well, let's work out how many donuts she bought in total. She buys eight trays of donuts and there's 20 donuts in a tray. So eight times 20 is equal to, equal to 160. So she bought 160 donuts in total. That's how many donuts she bought, so 160 donuts. And she sold 110 of them for 90 pH. So if we do 110 multiplied by 90 P, 0 0.90 or 0.9, that's equal to 99 pound. So that means that for the 110 donuts that she sold at 90 pH, that's 99 pound. Now she sold the rest of them, so there's 160. And if we do 160, take away 110, that's equal to 50. So she sold the remaining 50 donuts at half price. So perhaps it was a bit later in the afternoon, they've gone a bit hard or something. So she sold 50 of them, so 50 at half price. Now, they were 90p, and if we do 90p divided by 2, that's equal to 45p. So she sold those donuts for 45p each, that's 0.45. And if we do 50 by 0.45, that's equal to £22.50p. So that means that Charlotte made £99 for selling the 110 donuts at 90 pH, and she made £22.50 for selling the rest of them at half price. So if we add those together, that'll tell us how much money Charlotte made in total for selling the donuts. So £99 plus £22.50 is equal to £121.50p. So that's how much money Charlotte made from selling the donuts, but she did pay £80 for the donuts. So if we do £121.50p and take away £80, that's equal to... 41 pound and 50p so that's the profit 41 pound and 50p so 41 pound and 50p and that's it okay let's have a look at our next question question number nine so question number nine we've got marvin pays 800 pound for 240 scarves and he sold five eighths of the scarves at nine pound each and then he sells the rest of the scarves at four pound each work out how much profit marvin made from selling the scarves so first of all, we know how much he pays for the scarves, that's great. Now we just need to work out how much money he gets from selling them. Now he sold five eighths of them at nine pound each. Now we need to work out what five eighths of the scarves is. So there's 240 altogether. So we need to work out what five eighths of 240 is. So five eighths of 240, if we take the 240 and divide by the bottom, divide by the denominator, eight, that's equal to, and this is a non-calculator question, so 24 divided by eight is three, so 240 divided by eight would be 30, and now that's equal to 30, we've divided by the bottom, we now need to times by the top, so let's take the 30 and multiply by five, and 30 times five is equal to 150, so that means that five eighths of 240 is 150, so that means that he sold 150 scarves for nine pound each, and then he sold the rest of them, let's work out how many that is, so he sold 150 at nine pound each, and then he sold the rest, well, there's 240, so 240 take away 150, that's going to be equal to 90. So he sold 90 scarves at £4 each. So we just need to do 150 times 9, 90 times 4, add those together to get the grand total, that's how much money he made from selling the scarves, and then take away the £800, and that's his profit. So let's do that. So 150 scarves at £9 each. So 150 times 9, now this is a non-calculated question, so 150 multiplied by 9. 9 times 0 is 0. 9 times 5 is 45, so put the 5 down and carry the 4. And 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13. So that means that he made £1,350 for selling the 150 scarves at £9 each. Now in terms of the rest of the scarves, he sold 90 of them at £4 each. So we need to do 90 multiplied by 4. So 9 times 4 is 36. So 90 times 4 is equal to 360. So that means that Marvin made £1,350 for selling these scarves. He made another £360 for selling those scarves. So if we add them together, one 
1,350 plus 360, that's equal to 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 6 is 11, so put 1 down and carry 1. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7, and then 1. So he made £1,710 for selling the scarves. Now he paid £800 for the scarves, so we now need to take away £800. So £1,710, subtract £800, and that will tell us his profit. So 0 take away 0 is 0. 1 take away 0 is 1. 7 take away 8, well, let's borrow, so that's now 17 take away 8, which is 9. So that means that he made a profit of £910. And that's it, so his profit is £910. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 10. Okay, question number 10. So question number 10 says, a greengrocer bought 420 watermelons for £2.25 each. Two thirds of the watermelons are sold at full price of £4. And then three quarters of the remaining watermelons are sold at half price and the rest of the watermelons do not sell. So perhaps they've gone off or something. And the question says, work out how much profit the greengrocer made from the watermelons. So he bought 420 watermelons at £2.25 each. Now, this is a calculator question. That's quite nice. So we can do 420 multiplied by £2.25 and that tells how much the watermelons cost the greengrocer. So 420 multiplied by £2.25 is equal to £945. So that means the greengrocer to pay £945 for the watermelons. Now in terms of him selling them, I'm actually just going to change colour of ink here to blue just so we don't lose track. Two thirds of the watermelons are sold for £4. So let's work out what two thirds of 420 is. So let's work out what two thirds of 420 is. So to find two thirds of something, you divide by the bottom and times by the top. So we're going to take our 420, and we're going to divide it by three and then multiply by two is equal to 140. And then if we take our 140 and multiply that by two, that's equal to 280. So that means the greengrocer sells 280 watermelons for the full price of four pound. So let's take the 280 and multiply that by four to see how much money is made for selling those watermelons. So 280 multiplied by four is equal to 1,120 pound. So that means that the watermelons, these ones that sell for full price, in total sell for 1,120 pound. Now, three quarters of the remaining watermelons are sold at half price. So we need to work out how many watermelons are remaining. So the full price ones, that's 280, and there's 420. So if we do 420, subtract 280, that tells how many watermelons are remaining. So 420, subtract 280, is equal to 140. So it means there's 140 watermelons remaining, and three quarters of those sell for half price. So we need to work out three quarters of this amount. So three quarters of 140. We'll divide by the bottom and times by the top. So 140 divided by 4 is equal to 35. And then we're going to times by the top. 35 multiplied by 3 is equal to 105. So that means the three quarters of the remaining watermelons, that's 105 of them, sell for half price. So that's going to be £2. So if we do 105 multiplied by 2, that's equal to £210. So that means that these watermelons, the one that's sold for half price, they sell in total for £210. So we've got the £1,120 for the ones that are sold at full price and the £210 for the ones sold at half price. Now the rest of them, the other 35 watermelons, they don't sell. So we just need to add these together now. So that's 1,120 plus 210 is equal to 1,330 pound. So that's how much money the greengrocer makes from selling the watermelons, but he did pay 945 pound for them. So that means if we take the 1,330 pound and subtract 945 pound from that, what's left will be the profit. So 1,330 pound subtract 945 pound is equal to 385 pound. So that's how much profit that the green groups are made from selling the watermelons. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 11. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 11. So question number 11 says, Nyla has got 90 lamps to sell, and each lamp cost her £17.50. And she sold 62 lamps for £45 each, and then she reduces the price of the lamps by 20% and sells the rest. Calculate how much profit Nyla made on the lamps. Now, so calculate a question, so that's quite nice. So let's start off by finding how much money Nyla paid for the lamps. So 90 multiplied by, they cost £17.50 each, so £17.50. So 90 lamps that cost £17.50 each, altogether, if we multiply them, 90 multiplied by £17.50, that's equal to... £1,575. So that's how much money Nyla paid for those lamps. Now, in terms of how much money she gets for selling them, she sells 62 of them at £45 each. So 62 multiplied by £45 is equal to 62 multiplied by £45 is £2,790. So that's how much money she makes for selling these 62 lamps at £45 each. 
Now, this part we then told she reduces the price of the lamps by 20%. So the lamps did cost £45 for her customers, but she wants to reduce the price by 20%, perhaps just to make sure she sells the rest of them. So let's find 20%. So to find 20%, let's find 10%. So 10% of £45. Well, to find 10% of a number, we divide by 10, so that'll be £4.50. Now, we want to find what 20% of £45 is. Well, that's going to be double whatever 10% is. So if we double £4.50, that's £9. So she reduces the price by £9. Now, to reduce it, we take it away. So she had £45, well, that was the price. She's going to reduce the price by £9. So if we take away £9, that's £36 each. So that means that the lamps are then reduced the price of £36, and she sells the rest. Now, she had 90 and 90 take away 62 is equal to 28. So she sold 28 lamps at £36 each. So 28 multiplied by 36 is equal to... 28 multiplied by 36 is equal to £1,008. So that means that she sells 62 lamps at £45, and all together she receives £2,790. Then she's got 28 lamps remaining, and she reduces the price by 20%, so she brings it down to be £36. So 28 times 36 is £1,008, and then we'll just add these together. £2,790 plus £1,008 is equal to £3,798. So that's how much money Nyla makes from selling the lamps, but she did spend £1,575 on the lamps, so to work out her profit we need to take them away. £3,798 subtract £1,575 is equal to... £2,223. And that's it. So how much money did she make from selling the lamps? So that's £2,223. And that's it. So that's her profit. Okay, let's have a look at question number 12. So question number 12 says, a football club organises a raffle to raise funds for a new minibus. And they sell 600 tickets at £6 each. And the probability that the ticket chosen at random wins a prize is 0.13. And each prize costs £20. Work out how much money the raffle raises. So let's first of all find out how much money is made for selling 600 tickets at £6 each. And it's a calculator question, so that's quite nice. So 600 multiplied by the £6. Well, 600 times 6 is equal to 3,600. So that means that altogether, the raffle tickets are sold for £3,600. But there are prizes given out. As we can see, the probability of winning a prize is 13% or 0.13. And each prize costs £20. So let's work out how many prizes are given out. So to work out how many prizes are given out we need to take how many raffle tickets are sold 600 and multiply that by the probability of one winning and that's 0.13 and that'll tell us how many winners there'll be so we multiply the probability of winning by how many times there's been an entry that'll tell us how many winners there will be so 600 multiplied by 0.13 is equal to 78 so the 78 prizes given out and each prize costs 20 pound so if we take 78 and multiply that by 20 pound that's equal to 78 multiplied by 20 is 1560 pound so we now know the total cost of the prizes and we know how much money was made from selling the tickets. So if we take them away, that'll be how much money is raised by the raffle, the profit or how much money is raised by the raffle. So 3,600 subtract 1,560 is equal to 2,040 pound. So the football club raised £2,040 for their new minibus. And that's it. OK, let's have a look at our next question, question number 13. OK, so question number 13 says, Finley sold 260 ponchos at a festival. So at a festival, there's these raincoats or ponchos, and Finley sold 260 of them. 70% of the ponchos sold were adult-sized, and the rest were child-sized. And each adult-sized poncho made a profit of £8.70. Each child-sized poncho made half as much profit as the adult-sized poncho. Work out how much profit Finley made in total. So first of all, I'm actually going to start off by finding the profit for each child-sized poncho, because it's half the profit than an adult one. So if we take the adult profit, which is £8.70, and divide that by 2, that's equal to £4.35. So that means that each time a child-sized poncho is sold, it makes £4.35 profit. Now, he sells 260 ponchos in total, and 70% of them are adult-sized. So let's work out 70% of 260. Now, this is a calculator question, so let's take our 260 and divide it by 100. That'll find 1%, so that's equal to 2.6. And then multiply that by 70, and that'll tell us 70%. So 2.6 multiplied by 70 is equal to... 182. So that means there's 182 adult-sized ponchos that are sold to so adult-sized ponchos sold. 
And just to recap that, to find 70% of a number, you can divide the number by 100 to find 1% and then times by 70. So that means that 182 adult sized ponchos were sold. Now, in terms of how many child sized ponchos were sold, we could work out 30% by dividing by 100, which is 2.6, and then times by 30, or we could just take the 182 away from the 260. So 260 subtract 182 is equal to 78. So that means there's 78 child sized ponchos sold. So child child sized ponchos sold. So we now know how many of each of the sizes were sold and we know how much profit each of them make. So if we just take the 182 and multiply that by its profit, which is £8.70, and if we take the 78 and multiply that by the profit for selling each of those, which is £4.35, and then add those two answers together, that's the total profit that Finley made. So let's do that. So £8.70 multiplied by 182 is equal to £1,583.40p. And then if we take the £4.35, how much profit there is for a child size poncho, and multiply that by 78, that'll be the profit for the child size poncho. So £4.35 multiplied by 78 is equal to £339.30p. And then if we add these together, then that will be the total profit. So if we add these, we get an answer of plus £1,583.40p. That's equal to £1,922.70p. So the total profit is £1,922.70p. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 14. So question number 14, and there's a lot of information in this question, and there's actually quite a lot to do. So I'm actually gonna go quite slowly through this question. And if we have a look at the marks, it's worth six marks. So it's gonna take us a bit of time to go through it. So I'm gonna take my time going through this question. Kezia bought 140 calendars at £5.50 to sell at a Sunday market. She sold 68 of them for £15 each. She then reduces the price by £4.50 and sold some more calendars. And she made a profit of £880 at the end of the day. Work out how many calendars Kezia had left. So obviously she reduces the price and sells some more. But at the end of the day, she's got some calendars left. And we've been asked to work out how many calendars she's got left at the end of the day. So what I'm going to do first of all is work out how much money Kezia made from selling the calendars in total. And to do that, what I'm going to do is first of all work out how much money she paid for the calendars. So we're going to do 140 multiplied by £5.50 because she bought 140 calendars at £5.50 each. So if we do that, we multiply those together. That tells how much money Kezia paid for the calendars. So 140 multiplied by £5.50 is equal to £770. So she bought the calendars for £770. Now we're then told she made a profit of £880. So that means that whenever she sells the calendars, whatever, you know, how much she gets for that, and then whenever she takes away the £770, she's left with a profit of £880. So that means that if we add the profit onto what she paid for the calendars, that'll tell us how much money she makes in total for selling the calendars. So £880 plus £770 is equal to £1,650. So that means that Kezia made £1,650 from selling the calendars. That's how much she sold the calendars for. Now, we're told some information about the calendars. We're told that she sells 68 of them for £15 each. So if we do 68 multiplied by 15, we can work out how much money she gets for selling these 68 calendars. And we can take that away from the grand total to see then how much money she's got left for selling these ones. So let's do 68 multiplied by £15. And if we do 68 multiplied by 15, that's equal to £1,020. That means that whenever Kezia sold these 68 calendars at £15 each, each, she made £1,020. Now we know that she makes £1,650 in total. So if we take that away, then that'll tell us then how much money she makes whenever she sells some more of the calendars. So £1,650 take away £1,020 is equal to £630. So that means that Kezia made £630 when she sold some more calendars at the reduced price. So let's work out how many calendars she sold at the reduced price. Now they normally cost £15 and if we take away £4.50 that's equal to £10.50. So that means she's selling these calendars now at £10.50 and she sells some of them. And in total we know that she sells them for £630. So if we do 630 divided by £10.50 that'll tell us how many more calendars Kezia sold. So 630 divided by £10.50 
is equal to 60. So that means that she sold 60 more calendars. So she sold 68 at £15 each. She sold 60 of them after she reduced the price by £4.50 to £10.50. So she sold 60 more. And then she's got some left because she had 140. And I know that 68 plus 60 isn't 140 because 70 plus 70 is 140. So there's going to be some left. So let's work out how many she sold. She sold 68 at full price and then another 60 at reduced price. So 68 plus 60 would be 128. So she sold 128 calendars. So sold. The question says how many she got left. Well, she had 140. And if we take away 128, that's equal to 12. So altogether, she's got 12 calendars left. And that's it. And so there's a lot of things to do. I like that question. It's quite a nice one. And the question says how many calendars did she have left? The answer is 12. Okay, let's have a look at our last question, question number 15. Okay, let's have a look at our last question, question number 15. So question number 15 says, Freya organizes a day trip to a theme park for 42 people. And the ratio of adults to children on the trip is one to two. And each person pays £45 to go on the trip. So regardless of whether they're an adult or a child, they have to pay £45 to go on the trip. Freya hires a coach for £325. The cost of the fuel is £1.10p per mile. The coach travels a total of 130 miles. The theme park entrance costs £24 per adult, £19 per child. And the cost of parking at the theme park is £8 per coach. And the question says, work out how much profit Freya made from organising the day trip. So this question has got quite a lot of information an awful lot of information if we have a look at the question it's worth seven marks so it's, it's going to take us a little bit of time to work this one out um but i'm going to go through it quite slowly and hopefully you can follow each of the steps as i go through them so to start off with let's find out how much money Frey made from selling the tickets and that's quite straightforward because there's 42 people and they pay 45 pound each so if we do 42 multiply by 45 that's how much money Frey received in total from the 42 people so 42 multiplied by 45 is equal to 1890 pound so that's how much money Frey receives from the people going on the trip now we need to work out her costs. We need to work out how much money it's going to cost to hire the coach, also for the fuel, for the theme park entrance, and even the parking. And then we'll take that all away from the £1,890, and that's how much money Frey will make for organising the day trip. So first of all, it costs £325 for hiring the coach. That's quite straightforward. The cost of the fuel is £1.10p per mile, and the coach travels a total of 130 miles. So if we take the £1.10p, £1.10p, and if we multiply that by 130 miles, that's the cost of the fuel. So if we do 130 multiplied by 1.1, that's equal to £143. So the fuel costs £143. Now, the parking costs £8 per coach, so that's going to be another £8 for the parking. And then finally, in terms of the theme park, we need to work out the price of the tickets. And if we go back up here, we've got this ratio, so we can now work out how many kids there are on the trip, or children on the trip, how many adults are on the trip, and then work out the price of their tickets. So let's write this down. So we know that the, the coach hire is £325. The fuel is £143. The parking is £8. And finally, the tickets, the theme park tickets. And that's what we need to work out. And then we can add those up and take it away from the £1,890. So let's find the price of the tickets. So altogether, there were 42 people. The question says there's 42 people on the trip. So there's 42 people. And the ratio of adults to children is 1 to 2. So let's add together the ratio. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So there's 3 parts in total. And if we take the 42 and divide it by 3, that tells how many people are in one part. So 42 divided by 3 is equal to 14. Now, in terms of the adults, the adults number in the ratio is 1. So we're going to do 14 multiplied by 1. And that's equal to 14. So there's 14 adults. And in terms of the children, we're going to do 14 multiplied by their number in the ratio, which is 2. So 14 times 2 is equal to 28. So there's 28 children. So altogether on the trip, there's 14 adults and 28 children. And that's great because we now know the price of their tickets and we can then multiply them to find the total price for the adults, the total price for the children and add them together to get the total price of the tickets. So let's do that. So there's 14 adults, so 14, multiplied by the price of one of their tickets, which is £24. So the price of the tickets for the adults, if we do 14 multiplied by £24, that's equal to £336. So that's the price of the adult tickets. And then in terms of the child tickets, there's 28 children, and each ticket costs £19. So 28 times 19 is equal to 28 multiplied by 19 is equal to £532. And if we add those together, that's the price of the theme park tickets. So let's do that. 
So £336 plus £532 is equal to £868. So that means the theme park tickets in total cost £868. So we now know the price of hiring the coach, the price of the fuel, the price of the parking and the price of the tickets. Let's just go make sure we haven't missed anything. The hiring the hiring the coach, the fuel cost per mile and the number of miles, the theme park tickets and the cost of the parking. So if we add those together, so let's add these together and see what we get. So 325 plus 143 plus 8 plus 868 pound is equal to 1,344 pound. So that's the cost of all the expenses for Freya. Now in terms of the, her money, she received £1,890 in total. And if we take away her costs, the £1,344, what's left is the profit. So £1,890 subtract £1,344 is equal to £546. So that means that Freya made a profit of £546. And that's it. So how much money did she make? £546. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the Corp Maths practice questions on the money topic of profit. If you need any extra help on this topic, if you go to corpmavs.com and scroll down to video number 400p or four pound, and you can then find the video tutorial there on profit. Alternatively, you could scan this QR code. But in this video is focused on the video solutions to the practice questions. I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.